Hey guys, I have been harvesting seed. I have a lot. Cosmos, yes, there are a lot in there. Calendulas, calendula, pompous plume, yellow, lots of seeds in there. And then I put the I put them back in the florets back in and look they're already seeding again. <laughs> That's all right. Um, pompous plume, red and pink. I have zinnias, a variety of zinnias. These are lots of zinnias different colors that I liked but they're all in there zinnias 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 I have a jaguar marigolds I have uh, the normal just everyday marigolds garden the marigolds um, Yep, I have a lot of seed for next year. And I'm getting some seed from the amaranthus as well. The tall, majestic am amaranthus. And I think it's these little white seeds. They're white. The pompous plume seeds are black. And then I have things waiting. I have pen, uh, not pennies, petunias out in my garden that are volunteering to come up. I've got one that's already got a flower on it. I have about four volunteer petunias out by the well. And I'm doing some dahlias dried dahlias and dried zinnias and I've done some asters that are drying they're pretty and let's see I do have a lot of uh, dried status and I have a whole bucket full of status zine, dried zinnias dried um, bunny tails gumfrina you name it it's in there whatever I could dry I'm not I think this is coleus I'm not sure what coleus seed looks like but I'm going to look it up and uh, this is uh, this is status and I'm not sure what the seeds look like I want to look them up as well I just put them up here because I'm not sure what they uh, what they fall off or what. But anyway, <clears throat> I want to try to do a lot of my gardening next year without having to buy too much seed. Um, there's this red ball zinnia. I wanted to see if it kept its color. I should have put it in the dark, but. It looks like it is. It's dried. It's just a... But it's kind of dark up on the top. Brown. I have ma more marigolds over here. But, yeah. I've already got my tomatoes planted for next year. These I'm just going to leave and see if it works. Um, you just slice up a tomato and lay them in the dirt and just let them go. They'll freeze this winter and uh, then in the spring they should grow. I'm going to try it, see what it does. I have ranunculus here and more marigolds and and then I got a whole big old box, two boxes full of seed. Um, probably the only seed I'll probably have to get are 
I think I got enough for beans next year. I've got my uh, tomatoes over here. And I've got cantaloupe seed. <laughs> I have... Uh, Oh, goodness. I have peas, beans, tomatoes, and I have the regular tomato seed, too. If these don't work out, I have seed for tomatoes. Uh, Brussels sprouts. <clears throat> I've got Brussels sprouts and uh, peppers. I have pepper seed. I've, I've taken out of some of my peppers. You always want to try to pick the best one or the ones that are really good for the seed and I'm trying to do that. The tomatoes this year, they just don't want they just don't want to ripen. And we've had some hot weather the last three or four days. And some of them are starting to ripen a little bit. But they're just, I don't know, they just didn't do very well. We had a problem with the worms, but look at my Salanova lettuce. Isn't that pretty? Don't mind the weeds. It'll be better next year. That's what I keep saying. I've got some of these to pick. They're not very big, and I don't think they're going to get any bigger. So I'm going to pick those. And I've still, I got a lot of sliced peppers, bell peppers in the freezer. I have jalapeno peppers in the freezer. I have, uh, we'll have some Brussels sprouts in the freezer. They're doing, they're starting to put on some good growth. So trying to keep the bugs off of them and the worms. I noticed that the stink bugs are, gets on them really bad. So I doused them with uh, BT. It seemed to work. These are doing really well. I'm going to wait till they get clear up to here and then it'll be ready to pull out. I have cantaloupe growing again. <laughs> I missed one when I pulled them out. And look how it's blooming like crazy. I don't think it'll make up cantaloupe. I don't before freeze. But anyway, I have some things to show you when I get get around to it. It's a rainy day today, so it'll have to be tomorrow. So anyway, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.